Hey everyone, it's Doug. I'm just shooting this quick video to show you that I've got a spare room here, which I'm actually going to be turning into a room that I can mix and record some music in. So I thought I'd just shoot this quick video to start off with the empty room and show you how it goes in the end. Let's do it. So this was the almost empty spare room that I started off with. Just had a table and my speakers in it and the sound was bouncing everywhere and you can kind of hear that when I'm actually walking. You can hear every single step echoing around the room. So I did a bit of research into sound absorption, not soundproofing. So what I'm trying to do is not make it sound very quiet in there, but sound the best that possibly can without, you know, the sound echoing all around the room. And I also needed to build it in such a way that it wasn't going to damage the walls. So I can't mount anything to the walls. And yeah, that's how I had to go about this. So I started off by just measuring the height of the ceiling and then I purchased planks of wood which were very similar to that height and then I basically made a, some sort of structure which a futon mattress could actually sit inside and I decided to choose that because they're only about $40 each, the actual insides and to get real acoustic bass traps, acoustic foam is quite expensive and half of the idea of me making this myself was basically to make a kind of cheap alternative. So what I've done now is I haven't made the brackets for the rest of the, you know, the material that I've bought, but I've just put it against the wall. The audio or my voice is not echoing around the room, so it is working. So at this point in the process, I actually felt quite relieved because I had purchased all the materials. I tried putting it against the wall and actually the acoustics were sitting very nicely. So I tried singing in the room. I tried playing my acoustic guitar. And I started realizing like, this is really working well. I'm really glad I did this. And I'm feeling confident now that once I finish this up, it's gonna be exactly how I envisioned it. So I've got all of these, right? And I've got one finished one wrapped in the blue fabric, which is on the ground there. So this was definitely the trickiest part, which was actually measuring the amount of material that I needed and trying to cut almost three meters or 10 feet of material at a time in a straight line. So I ended up using this plank of wood on the ground and just use that to keep a straight line while I was cutting with my blade, you know? So I haven't attached them to the walls or anything, but I have finished putting the fabric on all of them and set them all up. So have a look at that. And I haven't really worked out where all of them are going to be placed. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool and I'm really glad with the colour that I chose. Rather than, you know, black or something like that. I think it looks really cool. So this is the finished product. This is my home studio, which I've sound acoustically treated myself. And you can even see that I put these black diffusing panels. Okay, you can see that. Where the first reflection point is. So what that means is you can see that the speakers are facing that direction. And where the sound first hits the wall is where I've put the extra diffusing sound foam. And it's the best placement for it. It honestly sounds great. The bass response is sounding awesome. Everything's sounding good. I'm happy with it. Awesome. Okay, so it took about a week of working on it little by little, but I'm more than happy with it. Turned out really well. And obviously the thing I'm most happy with is that the speakers sound great. They sound the way that I envisioned them to sound. The bass sounds good. Everything sounds balanced. And I feel very confident to mix in here. So mission accomplished. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Just letting you know I'm already working on new original music in the studio right now. And it'll be out, if not late this month, early next month. So I can't wait for that. Thank you.